We'd like to remind you of a story uh, that just came in to us this hour. Mount Aso on Japan's southwestern island of Kyushu erupted at about 9.43 a.m. on Monday. An NHK camera near the volcano caught sight of black smoke rising high above the crater. The meteorological agency is urging people near the mountain to exercise caution. The agency is telling people not to approach the volcano. It has issued an alert level of three on a scale of five. The government has set up an information center at the prime minister's office. Once again, Mount Aso in southwestern Japan erupted at around 9.43 a.m. That's uh, about 40 minutes ago. An NHK camera is showing images of thick black smoke rising above the crater. Now, the meteorological agency has issued an alert level of three on a scale of five. It's urging people near the mountain to be cautious. The agency adds people should not go close to the volcano. The government has set up an information center at the prime minister's office. We'll be bringing you more details on this story as they come into us. And we'll be back at the top of the hour with more of your news. I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> Really Many sure. people are. Torrential rainfall in eastern Japan has caused landslides and burst riverbanks, flooding many homes. The death toll has risen from five to seven, with the deaths of two men in inundated rice fields. Rescuers are searching for more than a dozen people who remain missing. Floodwaters inundated Joso City in Ibaraki Prefecture on Thursday when a levee broke on the Kinugawa River. The Geospatial Information Authority estimated about 40 square kilometers were hit by floods. The area is thought to include about 20,000 houses and other buildings. Police, firefighters and self-defense force personnel are searching for 15 missing people. In Miyagi Prefecture, a levee along the Shibui River broke in three places on Friday, causing floodwaters to engulf wide areas of Osaki City. Authorities have begun taking temporary measures to prevent further flooding. However, farmers are concerned that future harvests may be affected. Land ministry officials say as of Saturday, 64 rivers in eastern Japan have caused damage to homes and fields. Levees have collapsed on 14 of the rivers. Weather officials are calling on people to remain on the alert for overflowing rivers and landslides as more torrential rain is forecast. Floods are also causing problems in Fukushima. Bags of material contaminated in the nuclear accident in 2011 got washed into rivers. Workers recovered some and are searching for the rest. The bags contain grass and other radioactive material collected during decontamination. They each hold one cubic meter. They'd been stacked on farmland in the village of Itate, ready for transfer to storage sites. Staff at the Environment Ministry got a report that 82 bags had been washed into two rivers. They say workers had recovered 37 as of Friday evening. They say the workers will keep searching and check whether other bags also got washed away. Fukushima is back in the news. High doses of radiation found in local communities. Oh, you don't say. Well, they do say the storms in the Pacific are causing the trillions of gallons of Fukushima rad water, rad, R-A-D, water, to disperse with the sea salt blowing into California. Oh, well, be glad you're not on the West Coast, people. The devastating floods present new challenges to Japanese citizens and local municipalities. NHK has learned it took more than two hours for authorities to issue evacuation orders to some residents after the dike of a river collapsed. Officials of Joso City issued an evacuation order to residents in the city on Thursday morning as the water level of the Kinugawa River rose. Two hours later, the levee broke and part of the city was inundated. But nearly 1,200 people in the city didn't receive an evacuation order at the time. Most of their houses were damaged by flooding. City officials say they were overwhelmed by the flooding upstream and could not issue the order to those areas. A similar story played out in Osaki City in Miyagi Prefecture. NHK has learned that residents there were not informed early on Friday morning about the river breaking its bank. I basically had no information. I never heard anything about the riverbank breaking.
We released an advisory about evacuating, but I think now we should have announced directly the levy had broken and that people should move to their upper floors. Some people have demanded the local government in future release more information on possible flooding and evacuation measures. Recovery crews have started work in areas where floodwaters have receded. Some evacuated residents of Joso City have come home to unpleasant surprises. 78-year-old Hiroshi Sukekawa and his brother returned home after three days in an evacuation center. Sukekawa says he was shocked at what he found when he stepped into the house. I'm at a loss for what to do now. I thought the floor would have got a little wet and dirty. This area in Joso City is still inundated. Tatsuya Nagamine was rescued on Saturday by helicopter. He returned to his house to care for his dog. I gave food and water to my dog. I was sorry she seemed to be so hungry and thirsty. I think I can clean up inside the house from tomorrow, but we need help. Local governments of affected areas have called for volunteers to help residents in need. When the fish all die and the lakes catch fire, will it be worth it then? And when the cancer rates 90% or high, will it be When the whole world's a war over water and oil, will it be worth it then? And when there's no more fighting, cause there's no more spoils, will it be worth it then? If not, if not, what will it take to make you change your mind? I'm sorry.